Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into some unbelievable space facts that sound made up but aren't. Get ready to have your mind blown. We're talking about things like stars hotter than you can imagine, planets made of diamonds, and more stars than you could ever count, even if you had all the time in the universe. And speaking of time, we'll even tackle some cosmic quirks of time itself. So buckle up, space cadets. We're about to embark on a journey to the edge of knowledge, where the universe's most astonishing truths await. Let's get started. You know the sun is hot, right? Like really hot. It's the giant ball of fire that lights up our days and keeps our planet warm. Its surface, what we call the photosphere, clocks in at a scorching 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 5,500 degrees Celsius for those of you using the metric system. That's hot enough to vaporize pretty much anything we know. Imagine trying to roast marshmallows there. They'd be gone in an instant. But hold on to your hats, folks, because it gets weirder. The sun has more surprises up its sleeve. The sun's atmosphere, called the corona, is hundreds of times hotter than the surface. It's like the sun decided to turn up the heat dial to maximum. We're talking millions of degrees Fahrenheit. That's right, millions. It's almost unimaginable. It's like a furnace cranked up to 11. If you think the surface is hot, the corona is on a whole different level. Now, you'd think heat radiates outwards, right? Like, it should get cooler as you move away from the source. Like, if you're standing next to a bonfire, you get warmer the closer you get to the flames. Move away, and you feel cooler. So how can the sun's outer layer be hotter than its surface? It seems to defy common sense. It's a question that has puzzled scientists for decades. They've been scratching their heads, trying to figure out this cosmic mystery. One leading theory involves something called nanoflares. These tiny but powerful events might hold the key. These are like tiny explosions, millions of them, constantly erupting on the sun's surface. Each one releases a burst of energy. Imagine countless little firecrackers going off, each releasing energy into the corona. It's like a never-ending fireworks show. These nano flares, though individually small, could collectively heat the corona to those extreme temperatures. It's the power of numbers. Another theory suggests that magnetic waves, generated deep within the sun, carry energy up into the corona, where it's released as heat. These waves are like invisible energy highways. Think of it like shaking a rope really fast. The energy from your hand travels down the rope, and if something stops the wave, that energy has to go somewhere, often released as heat. The energy from your hand travels down the rope, and if something stops the wave, that energy has to go somewhere, often released as heat. It's a fascinating process. The exact mechanism of coronal heating is still an active area of research. Scientists are working hard to unlock this solar secret, but one thing's for sure, the sun's atmosphere is one seriously hot place. It's a reminder of the incredible forces at work in our universe. Have you ever been to the beach on a clear night, looked up at the stars, and felt incredibly small? The vastness of the night sky can be overwhelming, a reminder of just how tiny we are in the grand scheme of things. Well, get ready to feel even smaller. The universe is far more immense than we can even begin to comprehend. Astronomers estimate that there are more stars in the observable universe than there are grains of sand on all the beaches and deserts on Earth combined. This comparison is not just poetic, it's a staggering reality. That's a number so big it's hard to wrap your head around. Let's break it down to make it a bit more digestible. There are about 100 billion stars in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Each one of these stars could potentially have its own planetary system. That's 100 billion stars, just in our little corner of the universe. And that's just the beginning. But here's the kicker. The Milky Way is just one of hundreds of billions, possibly even trillions of galaxies in the observable universe. Each galaxy in turn contains billions of stars. So, if we do some cosmic math, even using the most conservative estimates, we're talking about a number with 22 zeros after it. That's a septillion stars. It's a number so vast it almost loses meaning. Now, think about a grain of sand. It's tiny, right? Almost insignificant when you hold it in your hand. But imagine gathering up all the sand from every beach, every desert, everywhere on Earth. 
The sheer volume is hard to fathom. It's a lot, no doubt. But even that immense quantity is nothing compared to the number of stars in the universe. But it's dwarfed by the sheer number of stars out there. The universe is a vast, almost incomprehensible expanse. It's a mind-boggling concept, one that makes you realize just how vast and awe-inspiring the universe truly is. It puts our existence into a humbling perspective. Next time you're feeling insignificant, just remember, you're sharing the cosmos with more stars than you can possibly imagine. And in that vastness, there's a beauty that connects us all. Chapter 3. A Day Longer Than a Year We all know a day is 24 hours, the time it takes for the Earth to rotate once on its axis. And a year is 365 days, the time it takes for the Earth to orbit the Sun. This cycle is so ingrained in our daily lives that we rarely stop to think about it. But what if I told you that not all planets follow this familiar pattern, but on Venus, things are… different. Venus rotates incredibly slowly. Like, really slowly. In fact, it's one of the slowest rotating planets in our solar system. It takes about 243 Earth days for Venus to complete one rotation. That's right, one single day on Venus is equivalent to nearly eight months on Earth. But here's the kicker. It only takes Venus about 225 Earth days to orbit the Sun. So, in the time it takes for Venus to complete one rotation on its axis, it has already traveled around the Sun once and then some. That means a day on Venus is longer than a year on Venus. Imagine living on a planet where your birthday comes before the end of a single day. Talk about a long day at the office. Imagine clocking in for work and not clocking out for over half a year. This bizarre phenomenon is due to Venus's retrograde rotation. Retrograde rotation means that Venus spins in the opposite direction to most other planets. Unlike most planets in our solar system, which rotate on their axes in the same direction they orbit the Sun, Venus spins in the opposite direction. This means that on Venus, the Sun would appear to rise in the west and set in the east. Imagine a basketball player spinning a ball on his finger, and then imagine the ball suddenly spinning the other way. That's Venus for you. It's as if the planet decided to march to the beat of its own drum. Scientists believe this retrograde rotation could be the result of a massive collision early in Venus's history. Such a collision would have been catastrophic, altering the planet's rotation forever. Imagine a young Venus minding its own business when, BAM! A large object slams into it, throwing its rotation into reverse. This cosmic event would have been a game-changer for the planet. Whatever the cause, Venus's long days and short years make it one of the most unusual planets in our solar system. Its unique characteristics continue to intrigue scientists and space enthusiasts alike, reminding us just how diverse and fascinating our solar system truly is. Chapter 4 a sugar cube of cosmic weight. Neutron stars are some of the most extreme objects in the universe. They're born from the death throes of massive stars, stars much larger than our sun. When these stars run out of fuel, they collapse in on themselves, creating a supernova explosion. The core of the star, however, survives this cosmic cataclysm. It gets squeezed down to an incredibly dense object, a neutron star. We're talking about an object with the mass of our sun crammed into a sphere only about 12 miles across. That's like taking all the matter in Mount Everest and compressing it into something the size of a sugar cube. This extreme density means that a sugar cube-sized amount of neutron star material would weigh about a billion tons on Earth. That's heavier than Mount Everest itself. The gravitational pull of a neutron star is equally mind-boggling. If you could somehow stand on the surface of a neutron star, you couldn't, you'd be instantly flattened. You'd be subjected to gravity billions of times stronger than Earth's. Even light itself is bent by the intense gravity of a neutron star. These cosmic remnants are a testament to the mind-blowing extremes that exist in our universe. Chapter 5. A Planet Made of Diamonds? Diamonds are a girl's best friend, as the saying goes. But what about a whole planet made of diamonds? Sounds like something out of science fiction, right? But in the vast expanse of space, even the seemingly impossible can exist. Enter 55 Cancri E, 
a planet twice the size of Earth, located about 40 light years away in the constellation Cancer. This exoplanet, meaning it orbits a star outside our solar system, is special. It orbits its host star, 55 Cancri, incredibly closely. We're talking about whipping around its star in just 18 hours. But here's the really interesting part. 55 Cancri E is believed to be composed largely of pure, crystallized carbon. Now, under the extreme pressure and heat deep within a planet like 55 Cancri E, carbon atoms can bond together in a very specific way, forming a giant diamond. Imagine the sparkle. Scientists estimate that the diamond planet could be worth a staggering 26.9 nonillion. That's 26 with 30 zeros after it. While we don't have the technology to mine a planet in another star system, yet, the discovery of 55 Cancri E reminds us that the universe is full of surprises. Outro. Keep looking up. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these mind blowing space facts, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing content. See you next time. From the unimaginable heat of the sun's corona to the mind-boggling number of stars in the universe, we've only just scratched the surface of the cosmos's mysteries. So keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep looking up. The universe is vast, full of wonder, and waiting to be discovered.